Now, yes, I know, I know what I'm about to say. And I think you guys are too, but this is the biggest episode so far of LaMelo's Legacy. And I'm sorry that I say that pretty much every single episode. But the reason this is the biggest one is it is highly anticipated because if you guys don't know, recently we did introduce the playoffs to this series. where basically you can see it here and we had to work our way through this bracket, but we've swept every single series so far. And this episode, we're in the finals, baby. So hopefully you can see why it's so big. And one huge thing as well, we did actually upgrade Lamelo to his Amethyst. And on the topic of Lamelo, it is super sad that he's going to be out for the rest of the seasons, but my wishes go out to him. But another huge thing about this episode is because it's the finals, we were able to open up super packs and they brought out these season five Age of Heroes super packs. And just uh, look at how many Dark Matters and how many Galaxy Opals are in these packs. Like I'm still going, there is so many. We still haven't pulled an Opal in Lamelo's Legacy, so maybe today's our day. But if you're wondering how we're able to open up those packs, basically you can see the upgrades and downgrades on screen right now. So when I do good things with Lamelo, I get rewarded with VC. So for example, if I get 30 or more points with Lamelo, I get 30,000 VC. But then we also have downgrades, so I could lose 30,000 VC if I shot under 50% as well. And then we rack up that VC and open up packs at the end of the game. Also, these are all doubled right now because it's the playoffs dash the finals. Anyway, my favorite thing about this series always is the top comment rule. And this is where you guys leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. And we got so many last episode. But the top one was by Owen and it's called the spread the love challenge And it says that if all starters score double digits, I get 40,000 VC So it's definitely not gonna be easy, but I feel like we should do, be able to do this Then the next one was by ninja's bathwater a little bit of a weird name But it's called the freezer challenge and all it is is every time I make an opponent cold I get 10,000 VC so imagine if we make the whole team cold. That's like 50,000 VC That could be nice, but we'll have to see how we go anyway Then the next one is the bonus combo Rule. and this one could have zero likes at all and this one actually only has six and it's by brooks and because it was st patrick's day the other day we've got a challenge based around this where it says every shot i green with lamello is 5000 vc also he says he loved the vids thank you so much but yeah i don't green a lot with him but maybe now that we have his amethyst it could be a lot better but i'm sure you guys know each one of your likes equals 10 vc at the moment and because you guys just go absolutely crazy for this series we were able to get 5740 likes on last episode so if we times that by 10, then it's pretty easy, but it's 57,400 VC to spend right now. But also I need to add what we have left over as well. So there we go. And I think that's kind of it for that little intro. But if we have a look at my team right now, last episode, we did add Carl Anthony Towns, which was a good addition. We also got Clay Thompson. Not sure if I'm going to use him, but the team is pretty good. It's just kind of annoying that we haven't had an insane pull in ages. But maybe today is our day with these Age of Heroes packs. We've got just over 60,000 VC. Let's get to it. Because yeah, I'm not usually able to open up these packs, but because it's the finals, I can. Come on, baby. Can we just get one good pack out of all of these? I want to see a shake. We get a ruby here. Not all we want. Is this the one? for a shake. Yes, it is. What is that? No, that's not a dark matter, isn't it? I don't think so. I haven't seen it in ages, but let's see what this is. It's a galaxy opal. There's no way. We just pulled our first galaxy opal in Lamello's legacy, and I did not expect that at all. For some reason, I thought it was a dark matter for a second. 98 overall. Yes, it is. Number 13. Is that... Uh, who? Is, that's James Harden. I mean... To be honest, it's not the best, but is it the hero version? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to take that. I don't love this James Harden because his release is a bit slow, but still, such a fire pull. I can't believe we actually just got him. Oh, I, my reaction was so bad. Yo, I can't believe we actually just pulled our first Galaxy Opal, and that was my reaction and so on. We get another shake, back-to-back -back Opals, a pink diamond. That could still be a good addition to the squad. These packs are looking quite nice for us right now. Maybe these players are going to help us in the finals. 96 overall, number seven. Power forward, is that Lamar Odom? That's a good pull, actually. That's a really good pull. We can definitely use that. And now for our final pack of starting this episode, can we go back to back to back with the shakes? Unfortunately not, but what a start is all I can say. Because are you guys ready? Just from those packs, we made two changes to the starting lineup. Because yes, we had a Galaxy Opal, James Harden, the hero version, and also Pink Diamond Lamar Odom. Now that starting five is looking fire, and also our bench is looking pretty good as well. And I'm glad we got those pulls because we kind of need them for this final season. 
series as it definitely improved our team just like that. But as you guys know, we're in the finals right now. And if you're wondering why the finals is so big, what's the point of it? Basically, it's going to make a lot more sense when we actually do it. But pretty much, I have to reset my whole team. Except then if we win the championship, I get these rewards. And the three spins means I've got this wheel that has all the players that I have on my team. And if I win the championship, I get to spin that three times to bring players over from, I guess, our first season to our second. Then I also get 200,000 VC. Then you guys are able to vote for the MVP. That's another player we get to keep. We get Lonzo Ball and also the championship ring. And once we get three championship rings, the series is over. <laughs> so we've got our first chance to get one. As I said, it's going to make a lot more sense when we actually do it. Well, hopefully if I win. But I got to say, with this team, I'm a little bit more confident right now. Now, because we upgraded Lamelo to his Amethyst, you can see on screen right now, we've got the upgrade checklist for him being upgraded to the diamond. So once we do this, we're rewarded with his diamond version. But hey, I think it's time. We're 54 and one in Unlimited. It's time for the first game of the finals. I'm a little bit nervous, but let's see if we can get this dub. Let's get to it. And here we go. My opponent looks to be rocking with Jokic, Clay Thompson. What Clay is that? He's got Paul Pierce as well. So looking at his team, it's definitely filled with some opals, but it doesn't really look the greatest. I was expecting a little bit better. We go up there and like, all right, not a great start. I am just starting out a little bit nervy, which is kind of annoying, but Lamelo all the way for the lay. All right, let's run it up. I see Harden, but I also see Lamar Odom. And let's try and take Jokic off the dribble. Get that slam. I just want to give it in Harden's hands. I feel like now that we've got this card, he can be a player that can actually kind of score for us at will. So Harden, four threes, first shot is green. He gets a rebound there too. And the thing about this Harden is he's so good on defense because it's kind of like a glitch card. But Danny Granger, who has seriously been one of my favorite cards this whole series, gets us another score. And I'll be the first one to say it. I definitely have a better team than my opponent, but I still am kind of scared because I could play so badly at some points, but Lamelo this time all the way. Weird lay, but he gets it. It is a terrible shot, and we are going to get that rebound with James Harden once again. Let's kick it to Lamelo. As much as I want to take that shot, it's just not the greatest. Let's give this one back out to Lamar. Lamar Odom, your first three, and okay. All right, who do we see here? I'm looking at Lamar Odom in the corner. Let's just catch and shoot. That's the green. Let's go. We're getting so many steals now. Let's give it to Harden. Harden, I kind of want you to hit this three. Wow, this is a big pull for us. Our defense has been so good as well. I was kind of scared that it might have been a lot worse now that we added these players, but they're really just popping off, especially James. We need to try and score 10 points with every single one of my players, and then we're going to be in a good way to get VC. Four points and seven assists with Lamelo so far. Let's make that eight assists because he's not getting stopped. I really do like this Lamar Odom, actually. I feel like it's a great pull. And as I said, my defense has just been so good. Lamelo, take this one all the way. Go up, get the slam. Okay, now it's just taking a full court shot. I think this game might be over. I, I don't know what's going to happen here, but we will we'll take the scores we can get. Yeah, another full court shot. We might have to just call this game off because... I don't really want to just try and get rack up as much VC as possible because it kind of feels like cheating when this is what's happening. I mean, we are only one assist away from getting a double-double and it looks like he's kind of playing now. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get this double-double and then we're just going to call this game off because it's a little bit annoying with what's happening right now. Yeah, look, so we're just going to pretend like my opponent just rage quit right now because he's pretty much just given up anyway. So if we look at the upgrades and downgrades, we can see Lamelo did get a double-double, which is 30,000 VC. And then we also got the win, which is 60k. Then for the downgrades, we had one foul, so that's minus 10k. But we have to look at the rage quit bonus. And because we're just kind of saying that he quit in the second quarter, that gives us an extra 40,000 VC. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do any of the top comment rules or the bonus comment rule, but it's okay because at least we were able to get a lot of VC from this anyway. Okay, I don't care what you guys say. I'm counting that play as well. <laughs> and now I think you guys can see why I did that thing with the Rage Quick. Because look at the score. I was going to sleep when playing this game. Now, these are the stats I am going to count towards Lamelo's checklist. Just because I feel like that's fair. But I didn't really want like a million VC or whatever we would have got if we actually counted the whole game. Because like, yeah, my opponent shot 62 threes. Just half court shots the whole time. And once we do all the maps and also add that block and also green shot we got, I had to do it. We have now got 145. 5,765 VC to spend. That's pretty nice. Hopefully I did all that maths right. I think I did. You can see I'm not cheating though because we're 55 and one. And I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to do a 10 pack box and then some singles after. Let's go. I don't know how boxes are really going to go. I probably should have just stuck to the singles because they were really good for me. But first one up, we get an Amethyst. Okay. I mean, my favorite thing about Lamelo's legacy is probably kind of earning my packs. So at least we do have quite a lot here as we get the same player back to back, which you got to love. But 
Can we at least see a shake? Come on, 2K. Number four. No shake. Just great. Don't be Isaiah, okay? The box does not seem like the go so far. This is not good. Why did I go away from what was working? Okay, we do get a shake there. Let's see the Galaxy Opal once again. Of course, it's just a diamond. You gotta love to see it. And literally, I don't think there would be a single diamond in the game that would make my squad. Let's have a look. 94 overall, number 40. Is that Sean Kemp? Yeah, it is. I, like, uh, it's a cool card, but there's no way he's going on my team. All right. Number seven, though. Another shake in this box. Not in this one. All right. Eight. Great. Not great. Lonzo. I mean, speaking of Lonzo, if we win the next game, we do actually get the best version of him, which is the pink diamond, but... I definitely shouldn't have done this box. I should have just stuck to singles. Our final pack, we do get a shake and it's a pink diamond. That got the heart racing a little bit. Thought it could have been a lot better, but let's hope it's a 96 overall pink diamond and a good one. 96, number 22, small forward. That means it's actually Andrew Wiggins, I'm pretty sure. That's a really good card, a great addition to the squad. I'm happy with that. All right, let's go into the singles now. We do still have a couple of these to go. Let's just get one shake in these and I'm happy. Come on, come on, just one more shake. That's not it, that's an amethyst. And our final pack before our next game, let's get to it and see what we get. No shake, all right, just a ruby, but still not bad. Because yes, the man we've added to the squad is none other than Pink Diamond Andrew Wiggins off the bench, which is actually a really good pull because now the team just got that little bit better. And the reason that's so big is because now we've got the chance to win this championship because all we have to do is win this next game to get it done. We've swept the whole playoffs, which is kind of crazy, but this next game is massive because we can get all these rewards if we win. So, I mean, I'm kind of nervous and I got to say, I'm kind of hoping we can get a better game than that last one. So without further ado, let's get to it. And here we go. This team isn't that great either. Ours is quite nice. So our final game, our champion championship game comes down to this. Can we get this dub? I'm feeling pretty confident by seeing his team so far because ours is obviously looking quite good now that we do actually have James Harden as well. We force a charge straight away, but I also want to try and do these challenges. So Lamelo, that's not a great tech. I, I need to chill. What if we run to the left this time and then look up to the top maybe? I'm looking at Lamar Odom. Lamar, 4-3. Let's hit it. Let's miss. Okay. What a steal though. Did you guys see that? That was so nice. And then we'll throw up the lob and that is a finish. And that's an inbound steal. All right, let's give this one back to Lamar as well. He's shot almost all our shots, but got four points as well. I literally decided I wanted to record this episode in the day because I noticed that in early mornings, I kind of get a easier opponents. But this game, I, I don't know. It feels like it's pretty easy to be honest, but let's pump fake this one, then go up and we get the score. Literally just before this, I went against someone as a practice game with my normal team and he had but all the all the rewards, all the 12 and 0 rewards, and it was a tight game. But I then won and I was like, oh, I can now record this and see how it goes. And now we just don't really go against the greatest of teams. But at least we are playing pretty well to go along with it. And he gets a wide open three. How good's that? Does end up missing. James Harden is there for the board. And you guys see Lamar Odom. I know you don't, but he's wide open in the corner. And wow, that could have been such a nice play, but he decided to miss. It's okay though, because we've got Lamelo against Steve Nash, who's actually a really good defender. My man's James Harden though. He isn't going to miss. Look at the defense by the squad here. Like Quinton, you've got nothing on me. We're just going to jump up here and that's a shot clock violation. We're going to run it up. We're going to kick it to the corner. We see Danny Green and this man is a green. It's a green to wait on. Danny Granger again in the corner. That one might miss actually. Nah. Not... All right, let's kick it to the corner here. Oh, I probably should pass out of that. That's actually a good pass though for a great shot. Lamar is actually so nice on the boards. I like it a lot. Let's pass fake this one, then shoot Lamelo with the green. Only up by six. So this game definitely isn't over yet and we need to pump fake this one hard and this is what you're made of. This is what you're good for. What a steal. Okay, what a reach, I should say. It wasn't a steal just yet, but I'm... What? Are you guys seeing this James Harden defense right now? Oh my word. It is absolutely beautiful. Forces the shot clock violation. I kind of don't want to take my starters off because I want to get these double digits leads with... Well, the double digits... I can't speak. The double digits with my players. We need to make free throws. First one is good and the second one is good too. What an inbound steal. What an inbound steal by your boy. And now we're going to give it back to Lamar Odom on Grant Williams, who should be able to go up and get the miss. But we might get the green right. That's not a good shot. That's 
Yeah, okay. We're gonna run it up. We're gonna run it up. Give it to Danny Granger and this man don't miss. Greens once again. I kind of want Lamelo score here. What a spin lay. I'm kind of looking at it now and seriously thinking that Lamar Oda might be one of our best pulls so far. Just because Thurl Bailey was definitely good. I all right. Yeah, Thurl Bailey was definitely very good for us because we got him so early in the series. But then after that, like, he didn't really do too much for us. So I'm a lot happier with our squad at the moment. And <clears throat> I never miss with him, but I just wasn't focused. I'm looking at Harden here, obviously. And we get the pump fake this time. Take it on the inside and let's get that slam. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, not a great take, but we do have Lamar Odom with a fading three. It's probably going to drop. Yup. Harden. Um, let's just take a baseline, actually. This is for 10 for him. Bro, okay, we just won the championship because he rage quit. I I feel like this was so anticlimactic for the games, but I couldn't do much about it. Um, yeah, how did that just happen? I thought these were games were gonna be so much closer. I was so nervous coming into this, but then we just destroyed and forced two rage quits. But we've done it, hip hip, hooray. <laughs> because having a look at the upgrades and downgrades, this isn't even the biggest thing, but we'll have to go over it really quickly. Because yes, with Lamelo, we were able to get a double double. Then we also got the win and we actually did none of the downgrades. So then we have to go over and have a look at the rage quit bonus. When was it? Was it the second or the third quarter? Let me have a look. It was the second quarter. So that means looking at the Rage Quit bonus, we got a bonus 40,000 VC once again. So it's kind of crazy. But from this screen, we got 30,000 plus 60,000 equals 90,000. And then plus 40,000 equals 130,000. Then also we got one green with Lamello Ball. So that's an extra 5K, which means from this, we just got 145,000 VC. Um, that's kind of crazy. But as I said, the biggest part is the fact that we actually just won the playoffs and we finished it all and won our championship. So that means, yes, we get that championship ring. And that means when we look at the rewards, you can see it's kind of crazy what we get. But first of all, I want to open up this VC that we have right now, which is that like almost 150K. And I think I'm going to do it again. I feel like this 10 pack box is going to be better than the last. So let's get into it. And we still have over 50,000 VC left after this. We got to shake straight away and course it's just a diamond you gotta love just the diamonds but hey let's see who it is oh, great that's who i wanted but at least we started off with a shake hey so maybe that means this one's gonna be even better bang and it's a pink diamond okay so we went from a diamond to a pink diamond in back-to-back -back packs does that mean that the next one's gonna be a galaxy opal i don't know 96 overall number okay that's a duplicate being Andrew Wiggins. You can't really complain about that because it's a good card, but we just got in. Okay, back to back to back. Uh, no shake here. All right, you knew that was going to happen. And nothing. All right, cool. It's fine. We really are just getting a lot of duplicates right now, but another shake. Is this one time for the Opal? Bang and nope. Okay, it's just another diamond once again. And it's Sam Cassell. Number six. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? We just actually got a Dark Matter in Lamello's Legacy. That is my second time ever pulling one. That scared me. That was the coolest thing to ever see in the middle. Bang, baby. We just got a Dark Matter. Yo, yo, we got a Galaxy Opal and a Dark Matter in Lamello's Legacy. I really want this to be Michael Jordan or Zion, the hero version. But let's flip it and let's... I can't believe this. I cannot believe what we're seeing. A 99 overall Western Conference. That means it's going to be Zion Williamson. My second time pulling him. Is it going to be the hero version though? Let's see. Hero Zion. Yes, it is, baby. Let's go. What a pull. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Man, that was the most hype thing I think that has ever happened in this series. In any of the series. That was insane. Oh my word. Oh my word. What just happened? Bro, we really just got Zion in this pack opening. The hero one. He has Hall of Fame range. Like, bro, I I don't even really know what to say anymore. We get another shake. There's no way this is an opal. Okay, if that was an opal, I would have screamed my heart out. It's another diamond, but... <laughs> What do I say? This one is Quinton Richardson. I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. Can we get another shake in this pack? I, In this box, I really don't know, but my best pull ever comes in Lamelo's Legacy. And you gotta remember, we did Zion's Legacy last year, so we kind of just got Zion to 
Respect the fact that we used him last year. I could not tell you how shook I am right now. Like, what am I even meant to say after that? I feel like that was such a good reaction as well because it really scared me. As we get another shake here, and this one is a pink diamond as well. Please be a different player other than Andrew Wiggins because this is the finals. We have to do what we have to do. We get 95 overall, so probably not the best, but it's a shooting guard, and it looks like that is Malik Sealy. That's actually a really good card, but... Yeah, I don't know. I I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this. I know I've said it a lot, but still, we have one more super pack after this. No shake in this one, just an amethyst once again. Can we see something good out of the final super pack? No shake here, but I can't complain at all. I'll do one Kevin Garnett pack as well because we just have enough VC. So imagine if we got Dark Matter Kevin Garnett out of this, I would go insane, but we get a bronze instead. Okay. Now, let me just say with this Zion that I have, I know it doesn't have a first owner badge, but it's because I use this one on my God Squad. He already has a diamond contract. And also I added a Hall of Fame badge to him. So I kind of want to keep this version and I'm going to sell the one that I pulled in my um, auctions. That's why he won't have the first owner badge. But um, what do I say? Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, bam. This is our team on screen right now. I'm actually in shock because this episode, we got James Harden, Lamar Odom, Andrew Wiggins, Malik Sealy, but the biggest one was Dark Matter Zion Williamson. Like how? How do I have this card on my team? The hero version too, bro. I can't believe it. And also we just won the championship. So that means when we look at this for the start of next episode, we get 200,000 bonus VC for winning. We also get Pink Diamond Lonzo Ball added to the squad. And obviously we got our first championship ring. All we need is two more and then we've completed Lamella's legacy. So now let me just explain how this next part's gonna work. So basically for my team right now, the two guaranteed players we have are Lamello and Lonzo. And we have these two because obviously we need to keep Lamello because it's his legacy. And then we got Lonzo for winning the championship as a little bonus. But you guys see there, we've got three spins. So basically what that means is I'm gonna spin this wheel. And basically from that wheel, I'm able to get three of the players from this squad being season one of Lamello's legacy transferred over to season two. Now I am going to do it on Instagram live. So you guys know I don't fake it. So be sure to tune in as I will put the times right here as for when I'm going to be live on Instagram and I'll show you guys and it will be really exciting as I'm really hoping we can get some good players into season two. But then there's obviously one more thing being the MVP. So this doesn't have to be what you guys consider the best player that has played in season one. It can just be the player that you guys really want to see transferred over from season one to season two. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But yeah, all you have to do to vote is just hit that link in the description. I'll put it on screen right here as well. But then you just click as to who you want to vote and it will end and we'll be good to go. You don't have to sign up or anything to vote either. So don't worry. And yeah, that's then how we're going to fill out this team. The rest of the players are going to be bronzes. So it's not going to be great. But the positive is at the start of next episode, we are able to open up 200,000 VC. So we should be able to get some upgrades from that. Now I'm hoping this all made sense. I'm sorry if it didn't, but maybe when it all happens, you guys will get it a, a lot easier easier, but I seriously cannot believe this episode. What just happened? Hopefully you guys like this whole playoffs run and that type of thing. I'm sorry that I destroyed and it was pretty easy, but hopefully in the future, it'll get a lot more intense and it should be good. Good? Good? I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to smash that like button as it was by far the best one in my opinion. We pulled a galaxy opal and a dark matter in this episode what? But also be sure to leave your top comment rule suggestions down below as I love reading through them and it's really nice to see you guys contribute to this series so much. And remember each one of your likes equals 10 VC as well so smash that like button down below. It'll actually only be five for next episode because we'll go back to halving it all because we're not in the playoffs anymore. But hey I'm pretty sure that's it. Sorry if this episode was all over the shop but it should be okay. Hopefully you enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Also TikTok as I just got one. And yeah I guess that's it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.